Hello everyone. So this is a HP Z820 or station. It has a dual Xeon. Uh, we upgraded them to 2620V2. The PSU is a 1125 watts. And this is the RTX 4070 Ti Super. So it's the cheapest 16 gigabyte offer from Nvidia. And it seems to be working fine. We are updating the driver. Uh, the machine picked up the graphics card, no, no problem. And we had to use a couple of adapters because um, the machine comes with three PCI X6 uh, um, uh, connectors, but the GPU actually comes with an adapter for 12 <laughs> to double eight. So we had to transform, transform two double six to a double eight, and then one double six plus a Molex to double six adapter into the other double eight and then to the 12. So there's a lot of, of um, contraction, contraption going on, but it seems to be working fine. And we're gonna test it with four mark to, to see whether the PSU can actually handle this. Keep in mind that the, C, the, the CPUs are the low power ones. So this is gonna help a lot for sure. And we're gonna use four mark, which is a pure uh, GPU load. So there's not going to be a combined CPU plus GPU load now but the machine will, use, will be used probably for uh, machine learning, AI tasks, and like even if you run video editing, it's very hard for a video editing machine to, software to actually use all the cores on the CPU and all the cores on the GPU at the same time. And even then, probably the 1000 watts uh, PSU is gonna handle it anyway. But yeah, we'll see just for full mark what, uh, what happens. So driver update is done. Um, Time to stress. Whoa. <laughs> Definitely something's going on. We'll have to check which fan is obstructed. Yeah, something around here probably. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna zip tie some stuff then. But it seems to be working fine. Temperatures are in the low 70s. High 60s, hotspot is in the 80s, 95% usage. We're using almost 300 watts. And yeah, looking good so far. I'll let you know if anything goes wrong in the future. <laughs> Ciao!